So in the second example, we are going to solve the system of equations using Jacobi iteration method with initial guess x of 0 equals x1 of 0, x2 of 0, x3 of 0 to be equal to 1, 1, 1. And we are also asked to perform only two iteration steps. So we have this to be the system of equations. Let's try to solve this question as well. So like we did in example 1, the first thing was to pull out the coefficient matrix from the system. So we have the coefficient matrix A, which contains elements. We have 12, 3, negative 5, 1, 5, 3, 3, 7, 13. And we also indicate that these are the diagonal elements. Now we need to check and see if A is a diagonally dominant matrix. So for a diagonally dominant matrix, we say that the absolute value of the diagonal element for each row should be greater than or equal to the sum of the absolute values of the remaining elements in the row. So we have, I mean, considering the first row, we have the value 12, which is the diagonal element. And this is greater than or equal to the absolute value of 3 plus absolute value of 5. So 12 is greater than or equal to 8. For the second row, we have the diagonal element. The absolute value of 5 is 5. And that is greater than or equal to the absolute value of 1 plus absolute value of 3. And then also for row 3, we have absolute value of 13 greater than or equal to absolute value of 3 plus absolute value of 7. So it means that A is a diagonally dominant matrix. Now in the event where A is not diagonally dominant, provided that the diagonal elements are non-zero, then it means that we can try to interchange any two rows to make A diagonally dominant. But this is not really important. Whether A is diagonally dominant or not, provided that the diagonal elements are non-zero, then we can still proceed with the solution. So, like we did in the previous example, we are going to make x1, x2, and then x3 the subjects from equation 1, 2, and then 3, respectively. So, for equation 1, we try to make x1 the subject. So, we are going to have x1, and that will be equal to, we are going to have 1 minus 3x2, and then plus 5x3. And then we divide this by the coefficient of x1. We move on to x2. We have x2 also to be equal to 28 minus x1 minus 3x3. All divided by coefficient of x2, which is 5. And then we move on to equation 3, where we have x3 to be equal to we have 76 minus 3x1 minus 7x2. We divide this all by coefficient of x3, which is 13. Now, on the right-hand side, we are going to have xi of k minus 1 values. So, we are going to have k minus 1, k minus 1, k minus 1. K minus 1, K minus 1, and then K minus 1. And on the right, sorry, on the left hand side, we are going to have XI of K values. So this is X1 of K, X1 of K. This is X2 of K, and then X3 of K. So it is also given that the initial guess is 1 1 1 so we have initial guess the initial guess the initial guess that is x of 0 equals x1 of 0 x2 of 0 and then x3 of 0 
to be equal to 1, 1, 1. Now at this point, we can perform the first iteration step. We can perform the first iteration step. So here we have first iteration. First iteration step. So for the first iteration step, we have k equals 1. So if k is equal to 1, then from these formulas, we are going to have, let's say, the first one becomes k1 of 1. k1 of 1. And that is simply equal to, we are going to have 1 minus 3 times x2 of k, which is 1. So 1 minus 1, which is 0. So we are going to have x2 of 0. And then x2 of 0 is 1. So we are going to have 1 minus 3 times 1. And then plus 5 times x3 of 0, which is also 1. So all divided by 12. And then we are going to have this to be 0 0.25. And then we add 4 zeros to make this six significant figures. So this is the value of x1 of 1. We move on to x2 of 1, where we have from this equation, we are going to have 28 minus x1 of 0, which is 1 minus 3 times x3 of 0, which is also x3 of 0 here is 1 so 1 or divided by 5 this is also equal to 4.80000 we move on to x3 of 1 and that is also equal to 76 minus 3 times x1 minus 7 times x2 or divided by 13 computing this you have 5.07692 this is the value of x3 of 1 so at the end of the first iteration step we have x1 sorry we have x of 1 to be equal to x1 of 1 x2 of 1 x3 of 1 and this is equal to 0 0.25000 4.80000 and then 5.07692. So at the end of the first iteration step, we have this to be the approximation to the exact solution. Now let's move on to the second iteration step. So we come to the second iteration step. And then k is equal to 2. So we are going to have x1 of 2. And that is equal to, we have the formula 1 minus 3x2 plus 5x3. So 1, 1 minus 3x2. So that will be x2 of 1. So x2 of 1 is 4.8. And then plus 5x3 of 1. So that is 5.07692. And then all divided by, we have all divided by 12. All divided by 12. And that is going to give us 0 0.99. 
we move on to x2 of 2 and that will be equal to we are going to have 28 minus x1 minus 3 x3 so 28 minus x1 so that will be x1 of 1 so minus 0 0.25 minus 3 x3 of 1 so x3 of 1 is 5.07692 or divided by 5 and that also gives 2.50385 2.50385 so that is x2 of 2 and then we move on to x3 of 2 and that is simply 76 minus 3x1 minus 7x2 all over 13 so 76 minus 3x1 of 1 which is 0 0.25 minus 7x2 of 1 which is 4.8 or divided by 13 and that is simply 3.20 385 therefore at the end of the second iteration step we have x of 2 to be equal to x1 of 2 x2 of 2 x3 of 2 to be equal to 0 0.9987 so at the end of the second iteration step the approximation to the exact solution is what we have here 0 0.998717 2.50385 3.20 3.385 3 